Member for Chilliwack Kent. It is with great sadness, Honourable Speaker, that I rise to share the passing of Theodore Wilfred Westlin, we know him as Ted, on January 23rd at the age of 91. His obituary, shared in loving memory in the Agassiz Harrison Observer, reads Ted passed away in Agassiz within a stone's throw of where he was born, leaving behind an unparalleled legacy of dedicated community service, generosity, and good works. Ted's devotion to the well being of the community of Agassiz was both heartfelt and lifelong. He played many roles within the community farmer, gardener, teacher, basketball coach, political activist, municipal councillor, deputy mayor, avid storyteller, corn connoisseur, and drainage enthusiast are some of the roles that we know best. As the decades pass, the roles may have changed, but his, his unwavering dedication to help and serve the community grew with each passing year. He will be truly missed, but never forgotten. The family wishes to extend a sincere thanks to the staff at Agassiz Seniors Community, who created a warm and welcoming final home for Teacher Ted. Honourable Speaker, I count myself as extremely fortunate to have been able to spend time with Ted, sitting at his kitchen table and learning. He taught me about the waterways in Agassiz. He shared about what it was like to teach generations of students, about moving cows uphill during flooding, he showed me memorabilia of his political involvement and talked about receiving the Queen Elizabeth Golden Jubilee Medal in 2013. He shared with me about his long, rich history with the BC NDP. He shared what he thought was most important about the work ahead of me, first as candidate and then as MLA for the community we both love. He checked in, he offered history and perspective, encouragement and constructive criticism, and I will miss him. I will never forget the advice he gave me as we sat at his kitchen table. He is survived by his wife Beverly, daughters Rhonda and Pauline, niece Michelle, and grandchildren Tiffany, Crystal, Dominic, and Jason. He will be remembered by his community who loved him, who learned from him, and by everyone who was lucky enough to have known him.